Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Taurus, this is going to be what are their true intentions and love. Yes, it is. And right now I'm going to pull a whole bunch of oracle cards. And we're going to kind of switch up the reading here and do it a little different today. Let's see what we have for Taurus and their person. And these are, it's mostly an oracle card reading. Kind of paint the picture just for some fun, right? Let's get creative and spontaneous. Can't stand doing things the same old way. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, yeah, let's see what we have. I mean, routine is, you know, routine can, like, destroy marriages. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it can. And uh, let's see. These cards are a little bit mixed together here. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Whoops. Taurus and their person. Let's see what we have for Taurus and their person. For Taurus and their person. The ship could be somebody at a distance. Could be taking a journey. Um... Let's see, Taurus and their person, the mountain, okay, there's a big mountain to climb here, there is, there's some type of great obstacle in the way, yeah, and now we have the birch broom, it's creating chaos and conflict, somebody's concerned about money with the, sh with the fish, mm-hmm, for Taurus and their person, the dice. Somebody wants to take a risk on something here, but they are concerned a little bit about money. That could be a consideration, maybe not to jump jump on it, maybe to kind of rush things. And we have the man. Move these cards over here. This is kind of the third party guy, you guys. And I hate to be like, you know, judge a book by its cover, but he is kind of. Because if you see the other guy, you'll understand why. <laughs> this is like the third party guy. Yeah, it is. And uh, this guy's this guy could be the single guy, too, in the reading. The other guy looks more like he is kind of uh, into tradition. And let's see what we have. Now we have the letter. This could be any form of communication. It could be, uh, uh, you know, it could be any document. It could be a divorce paper. It could be a love letter. It could be anything, okay? Hopefully it's a love letter. Let's see what else we got. Does anybody even write them anymore? I wish somebody would send me one instead of an email, okay? So impersonal, right? Yeah, and everybody can read your stuff. Yeah, all the text, they can read all your stuff. <laughs> and let's see, we have, and we have the staircase. Somebody's making a choice here, and they want to take a risk, right? And there's some type of a communication here or some letter or document now we have the fish. The fish is, as I said, it's a, a consideration here, like in this risk, like I might lose too much money or something like that. It could be kind of like, well, I might gain money, right? People, people go with other people for, for financial stability, especially right now. People are worried about, you know, uh, they've pretty much ruined the economy. Yeah, they have, you guys. Even if you're doing well, the economy itself will be ruined and, uh, yeah. And then prices go up, things like that. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's get some more cards over here. And we're going to get the Kipper cards. Oh, I've already shuffled these. I feel like I have. Let's show me the energy for Taurus and their person. Yep. Hope I didn't say another sign. And the main female, the card of imprisonment. Somebody feels stuck in a situation. Yeah. Concern. They're concerned about it. Despair. Wow, somebody's in despair here. You or your person, Taurus. The journey card is an ending and a new beginning. Right next to the despair card. Somebody wants to end something. Somebody wants somebody else in this union. Uh, reading. The lovers. The thoughts card. So we have the thoughts card and the concern card, right? Somebody is really trying to figure their life out over here. Well, what to do about it? And the message of concern. So we see that, and we see the letter here. So there's some kind of communication you, yeah, you or your person is sending or receiving. Yeah, there's an ending here because somebody has a lover here. Journey with the lovers. Yep. The choice card. The staircase is a choice, right? It is, all right? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Somebody's at a distance here. Yeah, and this somebody feels really stuck, and they want to. They want to. They want to be with somebody else here. Yeah, one of you guys wants out. Okay, so let's continue with the reading, and let's get some cards from the spirit animal deck. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. Okay, because these, these are they're all they all sound the same. <clears throat> animal spirit. <clears throat> yeah, they do. Spirit animal. Let's see what we got. But let's give her 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 uh, her, <clears throat> her kudos, right? This is Colette Barrett Reed. I feel like her reading, uh, her her cards are really good. I heard her do a reading. I heard her do a reading. I feel like her cards are real good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I feel like she's a good uh, author. So let's see what we have. And let's see what we have for Taurus and their person. The Otter Spirit, you are never alone. This is really cute. Okay, so maybe you need to hear this, Taurus, because somebody's in despair here, right? You are never alone, okay? Yeah. Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. All right, that's kind of interesting, right? Yeah, that is. Because... Uh, there is a detour here, right? Somebody's trying to choose somebody else. They're trying to get off the path they are on and get on to a new one. This could be saying sometimes that, you know, things don't work out for a reason. Yeah, trust in divine detours. Yeah, I feel like that's what, exactly what it is saying. And let's get another card. Cards are kind of like, uh, they're giant credit cards. They're really plasticky. Gra grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Okay. So somebody wants to take a leap of faith here, right? Yeah, it could be you, Taurus. So let's see. Let's continue with the reading. And uh, hmm, let's see. Let's get some cards from this deck. And this is the... Uh, this is the Love Oracle deck. All right, guys, sorry about the... Low. Let's see what we have. This is the Love Oracle deck. Love Oracle deck. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have for Taurus and Oppression. Accessory. Ascending. I beg your pardon. Transcending obstacles. Learning, expanding, new new phase, or or preparing for union. So, you know, this is interesting because transcending obstacles can be for somebody who is kind of overcoming obstacles, right? But then we have preparing for union. So it's kind of a, yeah, it has interesting uh, take on it. The heartbroken card, we know what that is. Feeling lost, mourning, etc. All right? And that is the same person that is in despair. This could be you, Taurus, or your person, okay? So as I've been saying... And let's get into the reading. Okay, let's see what we have. I feel like we have enough oracle cards. And let's see. We're going to pull three cards for each. Just doing this way different. Taurus, this is you. Financial and material changes. This is the same thing as the five of pentacles. And remember, the fish is here. Yes, it is next to the card of chaos and conflict, you're worried about, this is the five of pentacles, you're worried about losing money, yeah, this is your energy, you are, and you're making a choice here, movement, choices, and decisions, with the, this is a choice, the the staircase, and this is a choice, taking a risk on it with the, with the dice, you have the grasshopper, take a leap of faith, mental conflict, yeah, you're conflicted right now, you're worried about losing some money, uh, through a breakup, I feel like you are. Some financial stability. Let's see the energy for Taurus's person. Let's see the energy for them. Discontentment and boredom. Wow, you could be with somebody who feels bored in the relationship. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's tough. Passion ignited. They have this like that, Ace of Wands. And the Wisdom card, this is the Hierophant. Your person is... Trying to make a decision. Yeah, they are. Both of you are. I feel like you I feel like you're just making a decision to move away from this person. But you're concerned about your money. You're dealing with somebody who feels like bored with family life or bored with 
the relationship, something like that. Passion ignited, yeah. They want somebody else here. So let's see why, why the wisdom card, why do they have the wisdom card? Temptation, wow. So this is also known as the Hierophant, the traditional, like, uh, kind of e equal card or, you know. And the temptation card is here. This is the devil. Your person is tempted by somebody else who's, who's lighting their fire. Yep, that's what's going on here. Yeah. So we're going to go over to Vimeo and find out all about your person, Taurus. Yeah, we are, because this is where we're going to call them out for you. Yeah, we would like to uh, defend the underdog. Yeah, we do Sagittarius is like that, right? Yeah, we are. <laughs> and I feel like you guys, uh, if you are an underdog here, Taurus, it's very, it's going to be short-lived, all right? I feel like everything's going to be okay. Trust in the divine detours. Yeah, trust in those, and you are never alone with the otter, okay? Transcending obstacles. You have that. That's your card, I feel like, okay? So we're going to find out all about them and how they really feel, the challenges and the blocks between you guys, what they could be hiding, fearing, and their true intentions. All on Vimeo, you guys. They're super affordable. You guys want to cross-watch. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget the bell if you guys want to know about my uploads. Thank you so much, you guys.